you must have heard the word celibacy what is celibacy in simple terms in answer most people say celibacy is not having sex that is keeping semen in the body but this answer is not correct celibacy has a much deeper meaning which does not depend only on having sex and retention of semen celibacy stands on three practices if a practice is not followed your celibacy will not last and there is also a possibility of great harm for the sake of convenience let me first state that modern science has proven that brain power is inextricably linked to celibacy the brain neurotransmission system of celibate people is much stronger than that of normal people as a result their memory capacity is many times higher those who are celibate have a higher regulatory capacity of the oxytocin hormone in their brains as a result of which their concentration and attention in any matter is stronger they don't have neuroenzyme diseases they don't have anxiety or depression they are always calm and have good judgment now the question is what are the three practices for real celibacy and what are the methods of practicing them can this practice of celibacy be started at any age once upon a time there was a 14 year old youth within whom the first seed of lust germinated this realization was completely new to him as lust begins to change his body and mind he discovers the body's sense of lust it was as if he suddenly grew up He left behind all the sports and games of the past in the fascination of the new feeling of the body and started a new chapter all the time his imagination centers on the body of a woman which he wants to touch and have heavenly pleasure in sexual intercourse But our society has taught us that premarital sex is wrong. Gradually the boy became a young man of 18 years. When the only discussion with his friends was sex, lust, and the perversion of the female body. This is not only the case for boys but also for girls. Delusions are normal at this age. The young man had heard from somewhere that loss of sperm causes the body to become weak, the normality of the brain to be lost, and old age to come very quickly. After imagining the woman's body and wasting semen on his hands, he feels remorse. He promises that He will not do such a bad thing again but within a few days his promise broke he once again lost his semen by masturbating in the fantasy of carnal intoxication in this way he became 25 years old in a directionless life he didn't understand what should do and what not In his thought the judgment of lust continues throughout the day he heard about the word brahmacharya that is celibacy from somewhere he heard that celibacy is not wasting semen celibacy produces infinite energy in the body 
brain power increases several times one kind of divine glow appears in the face and all bad habits go away forever he resolved that he would practice celibacy this time he observed strict celibacy for 5 months but he was noticing some changes in himself during celibacy his anger was increasing in all cases his mind was turning against him one evening he was returning home by a lonely road when he saw a young woman on the way and his lust crossed the line of control he made a bad proposal to the young woman when the young woman moved to leave he forcibly hugged the young woman and attempted to have sex at that time a buddhist monk was passing by he ran and rescued the young woman from the young man and asked her to go home the monk said to the youth you are a man but why do you behave like a beast why do you lead a darkened life i don't know how or why i did these things said the young man the monk took the young man to his gurudev in the ashram he told his gurudev everything about the young man gurudev heard all this and humbly told the young man o oh young man calm yourself down the young man said o oh gurudev i have been celibate for the last 5 months i was calm but today i don't know why i behaved like this if the monk didn't save me i would have done the worst thing in my life gurudev took the young man to a river and said look at the river ahead what should we do if we have to stop this torrential river the young man said we have to build a strong dam to stop this river gurudev said but how long will the dam stop this river until the river flows over the dam said the young man gurudev smiled softly and said What will happen when this river overflows the dam? The young man said, This dam will break down. This torrential river will continue as before. Gurudev said, What should be done if the dam has to be protected? The young man said, The water behind the dam should be used for other purposes. The river should be diverted. Now Gurudev said absolutely right and you could not apply this correct wisdom in your life you had built the dam of celibacy but you didn't change the direction of the energy that was condensing behind and did not apply that energy to other actions so you broke the dam of celibacy It was supposed to pay and today it happened. The young man fell at Gurudev's feet saying, "O oh Gurudev, show me the direction of light." Gurudev said, "You were practicing celibacy, but it was in the wrong way. To practice celibacy, you need three practices at once, not one less." first is your consciousness then your mind and finally your body but all people are only practicing celibacy by exercising the body the let go of consciousness and mind so the barrier of celibacy breaks easily the young man said gurudev please tell me about three practices Gurudev took the young man under a big banyan tree and said to the young man How is this big tree The young man said It is a huge banyan tree I have never seen such a big tree in my life Gurudev said 
you are only seeing the outside of this tree this tree is outside as much as this tree has cut through the earth and spread its roots inside the ground the roots cling to the ground in such a way that no matter how big the storm or flood comes this tree holds its head high Gurudev showed a small sapling there and said to the young man, Can this sapling withstand the storm? The young man said, No, Gurudev, it cannot. Gurudev said, Just like a tree, our consciousness expands within as much as it can be perceived from without. Consciousness must be so deeply established by meditation that it never bows down in life let every step every resolve be unshakable when the consciousness is awakened there is no need to judge the good and the bad way of life life will always go on the path of bright light and goodness You can make the consciousness a ladder and walk on the higher path of spirituality. This time Gurudev took the young man to an empty field where a few young men were sitting and talking. Gurudev said, Go and sit with those young men and talk for a while. Come back and tell me what was the story or discussion. The young man got into a story with the rest of the young men and the discussion was about lust and sex. What kind of young women were in this village? How their sexual behavior can be? The young man became so engrossed in the story that he forgot about Gurudev. Finally, he came back to Gurudev and said, Gurudev, Forgive me, I am late. I forgot about you. Gurudev said, What discussion was going on there? The young man said, Gurudev, there was a discussion about lust and sex. Gurudev said, You must have been enjoying yourself there. So you forgot about me. That is the second practice regarding mind. The direction your mind goes to, the roots of your consciousness will follow. It is a fool's walk to try to control the mind in any particular way. Only righteous company of sadhu and saint and the association of the guru can free your mind from lust. So practice the association of saintly people. The third practice is the body. You do not need to make a separate resolution or vow to retain semen in this body. If the previous two practices are correct, consuming very very simple vegetarian food and yoga and pranayam should be practiced regularly for physical exercise. If these three practices continue together, you need not try to practice celibacy separately. You will become eternally celibate by yourself. Not long, just 19 to 20 days, you go through these three exercises together on this path. You will notice changes in your mind, thoughts, body and brain. If you follow this path for a long time, the physical, mental and brain power will increase many times. The young man said, Gurudev, I spent a lot of time in my delusions. Can I start this Brahmacharya or celibacy at this age? Gurudev said, Certainly, you can. Because spirituality, mind and consciousness cannot be measured by time. So at any age of life, 
this celibacy can be started this time the young man said gurudev you have given me a new life and it crowds of salutations to you dear friends hopefully the deep theory of celibacy has been made quite simple before you start the three exercises together today not tomorrow and you will discover your life in a new way if you have any difficulty in understanding anything in today's episode please write in the comment box good luck to all thank you